Yes, now we are discussing about Ajurvedam. The Ajurveda is one of four Vedas ancient sacred texts of Hinduism. It primarily consists of prose mantras that are used by priests during rituals. Here are some key details about the Ajurveda. The meaning, the term Ajurveda is derived from the Sanskrit words Yajus, that is Yajus means sacrificial formula and Veda means knowledge. Likewise, it is Yajur Veda. Thus, it can be understood as the knowledge of sacrificial, sacrificial formulas. So, Yajus, Yajur Veda means Yajus and, uh, Yajus and Veda, that is Yajur Veda. That means, once again I am saying, Yajus means sacrificial formula and Veda means knowledge. So, Yajur Veda. And next third point, second point is the division in Ajurveda, Ajurvedam. There are two main branches of the Ajurveda, Sukla Ajurveda and Krishna Ajurveda, two main branches, also known as the, the Sukla Sukla Ajurveda, also known as the White Ajurveda. It contains the original verses in their entirety without uh, commentary. Next is Krishna Yajurveda, also known as the Black Yajurveda. It includes the original verses along the various commentaries. So, Shukla Yajurveda means White Yajurveda and um, Krishna Yajurveda means Black Yajurveda. That is the information. And next point is Samhitas and Brahmanas in Yajurveda. Like uh, other Vedas, the Yajur Veda is divided into two main parts, Samhitas and uh, Brahmanas. Collection of mantras or hymns. Samhitas means collection of mantras or hymns used in rituals. Brahmanas means prose explanations and discussions of the rituals and their symbolic meanings. And next point is uh, Shakas, that means branches. Each of the main branches of the Yajur Veda has several sh shakas or sub-branches, each associated with the different religions or schools of creations. Some prominent uh, shakas include the Taitreya, Kataka, Maitriyani and uh, Vidya Saniye. Shakas. Next point is uh, Yajurveda content is what? The Yajurveda details mainly details Yajurveda deals mainly with the details of uh, rituals including sacrifice, rites, prayers and chants used during ceremonies like uh, the five rituals that is Yagnas. The content of the Yajur Veda says, the Yajur Veda deals mainly with the details of rituals, including the sacrificial rites, prayers and chants during ceremonies like the fire rituals, that is Yagnas. And next point in Yajur Veda is importance. It is considered crucial for understanding practical aspects of Vedic rules and the sacrifices performed by priests during ancient times. Priests means here the meaning is Kothris during ancient times. And next point, Yajurveda texts. Major texts associated with the Yajurveda include the Taitreya Samhita, Maitriyani, Maitrayani Samhita, Kadaka Samhita, Shatapada Brahmana, Shatapada Brahmana and Taitreya Brahmana and others. These are the texts of basically in Ajurvedam, Yajurvedam details. And the transmission, next point is the transmission and preservation. Traditionally the Vedas including the Yajurveda were preserved and transmitted orally from one generation to the next by Brahmin priests. They were eventually codified into written texts 
to prevent loss and ensure accurate preservation. This is the information regarding the Yajurvedam details. These are the shortcut details only. If you want to go deep, you should go and practice in Matas. That means uh, practicing Vedas. Matas are also there. If you, if you get in Google, you will get to Yajurveda, Yajurveda details. I want to learn Yajurveda details. Means they will give the list of uh, schools, colleges, and uh, ancient matha, matas also. Mata means it is also a school for spiritual discussions. So you can get those also. So nowadays you can get everything if information is there. That is the thing. So you will be blessed. But one thing, any Vedam, if you want to learn deeply from prose by prose and the means, it will take 12 years. But if you want to know fundamentals means it will be likewise only Yajurvedam details. So likewise, as you like, you can learn. Wishing you all the best.